Alpha, Omega, Ancient of Days, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you, O oh God, for making today a glorious day. Thank you, O oh God, for making today possible. Thank you, O oh God, for your power, for your glory that will be moving, O oh God, in our midst and on this holy mountain. Thank you, O oh God, for your presence. Thank you, O oh God, for the anointing. The anointing. I give you praise. Lord, everything we are going to do today on this holy mountain, let it be pleasing in thy sight. In thy sight, O Lord God Almighty, move mightily, O God, on this holy mountain. Rebuke the devourer, O Lord, and let everyone, O God, that will come unto this holy mountain have an encounter of you in the name of Jesus Christ, an encounter with you, an encounter that will stand, O God, the test of time in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal rock of ages, Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Lord, you alone can do what no man can do. Daddy, come and do what you alone can do that no man can do. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring to pass your plans and purpose. Have mercy, O God, and let your power and your glory be seen in the name of Jesus Christ. Upon this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, 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 in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Lord, let every man meet with you and let your glory and your power, O God, be seen mightily in Jesus name I've decreed amen praise God praise God hallelujah praise God hallelujah happy Sunday to everyone under the sound of my voice I want to thank God for his presence and his glory I want to thank God for the things that he has started doing in our lives and the things that he will perfect even as we are in his presence today in the name of Jesus Christ today is a wonderful you know topic God has given to us and I believe God has sent me to somebody Somebody that is very, very fervent in the place of prayer. Somebody that is hoping and trusting and looking up unto God as the Redeemer. The Lord is sending me to somebody today. And I believe that you, that person God is sending me to, you will meet with the mercy and the glory of God powerfully. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to plead with you wherever you may be under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. Help us help us to share the broadcast in Jesus name help us to share the broadcast on your wall in a group or in groups share and win a soul and let the will of God be done everything that God is said to do today no man can hinder it in Jesus name he is God he is God and everything is going to do today in Jesus name we will benefit and we will share the testimonies of his faithfulness in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, blessed Redeemer, who is like unto you. Wherever you may be, somebody just join me as we want to echo very loudly to, you know, into the spirit realm that God that we serve, his words are simply yea and amen. Has God given you a word? Has God assured you? Has God reassured you? Has God told you something? I want you to hold on. Hold on to that God because what he has said must surely come to pass in Jesus' name. Again, I want to echo to somebody in Jesus' name under the sound of my voice that God cannot lie. I love to I love to take this song as often as possible. Praise God. God cannot lie. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God cannot lie. Wherever you may be, join me to say God cannot lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God know the lie. My God know the lie. Everything he talk not true. Everything he say he go do a more. Somebody join me and say, My God no they lie. Everything he says is true. Everything he say he go do a more. Somebody praise this God. Somebody join me and say, God is good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and the Spirit of God move up her. upon the face of the waters. Let there be light. Let there be firmament. When God says yes to you and me, hallelujah. Somebody join me and say, God, not a lie. My God, not a lie. Everything we talk, not true, not true. Hey, oh, you go do a more. Ignore the lie. 
Somebody say God will never lie, never lie, he will never lie. Oh, oh he will do a more, Papa. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, oh, hallelujah. He will never lie, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, you're going to see. you go going to get a more. Tell them your problem. One by one. Oh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I walk a so to a tire. I tire. I look through all the earth and I found out there's no one greater like our God, oh Lord. Somebody call me and say no one is like Jehovah. Oh, 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 oh. And I found out nobody's greater. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody's greater. Somebody say, My God, not in lie. God, not in lie. Oh, 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 oh. Not true. Everything he says, he will do it. Just trust God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. He will never lie. There's nobody greater, nobody like our God, our God. Thank you, Jesus, the God of turnaround. Hallelujah. God, not a lie. He will never lie to you and me. Never, never. You know they talk lie. You know they lie. You, you. You know they lie. Yeah, yeah. You know they lie. Somebody, listen. When you knock, God will open. When you ask, he will respond. When you see, God will make you to find. Hallelujah. Oh. Somebody, everybody, keep worthy. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Praise God, praise God, praise God. What a God we serve. He's a wonderful God, and I'm going to play this song. I know many people, you know this, but because of the message is given to me, I have no choice. I have to take this song again. He is the way maker, and today God is going to make a way for somebody. If you believe it, he's going to turn things around for you in a way that you will know this is God doing it, not man. The way maker, he is here, he is here in our midst. He is here, he's a faithful God. I worship you, Adonai. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody join me and say, God is here. God is here. Moving in the midst. You are moving in our midst, oh Lord. I worship you, Lord. You are working Ura baba ba you are walking in this place oh Lord e wo i worship you lord daddy i worship you lord you are here lift up your voice and sing with me god is moving in our midst ye literally ba o sikate i worship you oh lord god i worship you lord you are here you are here God is walking in this place. I worship you, Lord. We make a home. You're the miracle worker. You're the promise keeper. You're the light in the dark for me. I do not. That is who you are. Lift up your voice and say, We make a home. We make a miracle worker. You're the promise keeper, Lord. You're the light in the dark for me, oh. That is who you are, yeah. Somebody say God is here. He's touching every aspect of our lives. Somebody say I worship you, Adonai. There is none like you. You are here. You're healing every heart. 
I worship you, Lord. You are turning lives around. Adonai, Papa, Daddy, I worship you, Lord. You are here. You are mending every broken heart, oh Lord. I worship you. Ah, no, I we make a home. You are the miracle walker. You're the promise keeper. You're the light in the dark for me, Papa. That is who you are. Oh, somebody say we make a me oh. You're the miracle walker. You're the promise keeper, Lord. You're the light in the dark for me. That is who you are. Somebody say, you wipe away every tears. You do it today on this mountain. You mend the broken heart. We know that it. You're the answer to it all. Adonai, Jesus. Oh. Wipe away all tears. Adonai. You mend the broken heart, oh Lord. You're the answer to it all, Papa. To it all, Daddy. Jesus. Somebody say, My way maker, oh. You are the miracle walker. You're the promise keeper, Lord. You're the light in the dark for me, oh. That is who you are, yeah. Way maker, oh. Yeah, Baro Tons in Catali. You're the promise keeper, Lord. You're the light in the dark for me. Yeah. That is in you are. Oh. Somebody say God is here. Mm. Touch him Everything can fail, God will never fail. I worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. You are here, Adonai. You are meeting every day. You are stopping every pain. I worship you, Adonai. Wherever you may be, somebody join me as you start to pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Lado kosi kayaba. Re ba 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 shanda e kralimo zikali brantali. Me kalibo zikatali. Mo ra ba ba ba. Somebody pray in the spirit, pray in tongues, pray in the spirit. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Everyone under the sound of my voice, shanda raba. Re ke de ba telimo zikayaba teli. Anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice that looks as if you have been praying for quite a while and it looks as if God have not answered. I am here to tell you that the power of God is here. The glory of God is here. The mercy of God is here. It's a prayer answering God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody type the word turn around. Turn around. Somebody type the word turn around. God of turn around. In the name of Jesus Christ. God of turn around. God of turn around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the God of turnaround. Wherever you may be, I see God. Mandaraba, Share Balimo, Mokon Zika Edreleketeli Bandali. I see the God of turnaround today for somebody. I am sent to somebody that is in dear need of the God of turnaround. The God of turnaround is here. The God of turn around is here. Somebody type the word turn around. There's going to be an there's going to be an unfathomable, an unfathomable turn around for somebody that wants to meet with God today. As you put in your prayer, as you put in your prayer, prayer. La credeli bronzika e bratalie. La credeli bronzika e bratalie. As you're putting in your prayer, putting in your prayer, prayer, putting in your prayer, prayer. I soak every prayer mandate with the power. 
and the precious blood of Jesus Christ, without any mistake, we are saying that the God we serve is the God of what? The God of turnaround. The God of turnaround. I see turnaround for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Initially, to look as if God has forgotten. Initially, to look as if God has forgotten. God is not responding to our prayers. But before you know it, the Spirit of the Lord will take over and take control. The Spirit of God will take over and take control and will bring about the needed what? The needed turnaround. We are serving a God of what? The God of turnaround. The God of turnaround. Somebody prophesy, turn around. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy, turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy, turn around. Mashandaraba osake telibos. Oragababa endreleke bantalimosikaba. Please prophesy, turn around in Jesus' name in all aspects of life. We are prophesying, turn around in all ramification. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, we are commanding a turnaround. I do not know how long that circumstance has prevailed, but today, the Lord will give you a turnaround that will make you know that you are serving a living God, that you are serving a God that will never lie, that you are serving a God that knows how to make a way. I am here to reassure you, man of God, reassure you, woman of God, that our God can make a way where there seem to be no way. Most times, what we want to do, we want to use our human mind to evaluate. We want to use our human mind to calculate. We want to use our in human mind to, you know, to differentiate and to, you know, integrate and try to see what God is about to do. But Bible say, eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not entered into the heart of any man what God is preparing for those whom he loves. I want to ask a simple question. Are you one of God's lovers? Are you one of those who love God? Because today I am said to God's lovers. We are sent, I am sent to God's lovers. And I'm believing that this mountain is a mountain full of lovers of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not entered into the heart of any man, any man whatsoever, any man, what God has prepared for those who love him, those who love him. Today, do you have love in your heart for God? Do you have love in your heart for God? If you have love in your heart for God, I am happy to tell you there is going to be a turnaround. There's going to be a turnaround that everybody will know that this is God in action. There's going to be a turnaround that will make you fear God and love God even more. There's going to be a turnaround in your family. There's going to be a turnaround in your business. There's going to be a turnaround in your marriage. There's going to be a turnaround in your community. There's going to be a turnaround in the world, nations of the world, that every man may know that we are serving a God that when he says it, he brings it to pass. He does not need approval from any man. He does not need approval. He does not need any form of approval. He says it, he brings it to pass. I am talking about a God that understands, that sees and knows. I mean the one that rules in the affairs of men. The Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. One who makes a way where there seems to be no way. I'm talking about your God, my God. I am that I am. He says I'll be known from generation to generation as the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Today, I am telling you that after God decides to reveal himself to you and me, you will also know him as my God. Today, somebody, you will meet God as my God. You will know God as my God. Not only will you know him as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of, you know, Jacob, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. You will also know him as my God because he will reveal himself to you. He will reveal himself to you as long as you are God's lover. Because God is seeking those who will serve him in spirit and in truth. And this spirit and in truth will be done with 100% of commitment from your heart. 100% commitment from your heart. If you are not committing to God 100%, I am sorry. You might say that I love the way this man preach. I love the way this man is giving the words of exaltation or the way the word of God is coming. But I'm sorry you might not have a testimony. You might not have a testimony. For you to have a testimony, you must give to God 100% of your heart. Deuteronomy 10, 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. All of your heart, not some. And Luke chapter 10, verse 27. All of your heart, all of your soul, all of your strength. If you are that kind of a person, I assure you today. Today will not end. Paroso. Today will not end. 
without in Jesus' name an encounter with God. An encounter with God. Somebody please type the word, the God of turnaround. That is it. The God of turnaround. The God of turnaround. The God that makes a way where there seems to be no way. The Lord that opens the heavens and pours out rain upon us in season and out of season. The God who answers prayer. The God who hears the cry of his church. That God is here today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to get set. I want you to get set. Get your prayer list ready. Get your prayer mandate ready. Get your list ready. I am talking to God's lovers. Less than 60 days to end this year, I'm telling you that there will be a turnaround for you. Less than 60 days to end this year, I am assuring you that my God will bring about a turnaround for you. So that you will not only know him as the God of Abraham, as the God of Isaac and Jacob, but you will know him as my God. Bible said that the Lord said that the cry of my people have entered into my ears. Somebody, I am here to tell you, your cry, your petition, your cry, your prayers, your cry, your requests as I come before the Lord. It has entered into the ears of God. Today, the Lord is determined to turn things around for you. Today, the Lord is determined to prove himself as God. Today, the Lord wants to reveal himself as the I am that I am. As the I am that I am, the Lord wants to reveal Himself as Jehovah. Jaga gaga gaga gaga, libra gaga dala gaba, mashanda raba o katelimo, mi brakon zuka e deliketeli, mandali o kalibron zika ya batali. Some people like to listen to those who will tell them what they want to hear. And that's why people say, oh, but he prophesied. Yes, he can prophesy. Haven't you read in the Bible? The Bible said that people will prophesy and say things. And then when they come to Jesus, Jesus said, I don't know you. He said, but we prophesy in your name. He said, and so? And so if you prophesy in my name, does that make you, does that make you authentic? Does that make you original? Does that make you a man of God? Because you prophesy through the help of a familiar spirit, or because you prophesy through the help of some territorial or aquatic spirits, does not make you a sound, seasoned servant of God. You see, but people would always gravitate towards something they want to hear. But to those who have the mark of God inside of them, to those who are God's lover, all they are yearning for is the word of God. Is the word of God. Is the word, I bring you the word of God. I do not add nor subtract. If you have 100% love for God, Romans chapter 8, 28, I assure you, with your list in your hand that you're presenting to God, everything will start to work for your good. Everything will work for the good of your children. Everything will work for the good of your business. Everything will work for the good of your community. Everything will start to work for your good. Somebody join us, start to command right now. We have five more minutes to go for this prayer session. Five more minutes. Somebody join us, start to command now. In Jesus' name, this prayer we are praying by faith. Welcome to Faith Clinic. We are praying this prayer by faith. Where I'll be showing you certain things in the scriptures. What is the greatest fear in your life? What is the greatest panic that you have? Bring it before Yahweh. Bring it before Alpha Omega. And watch the Lord make everything start to work for your good or get destroyed. It's one of the two. It's either they work for your good or they get destroyed by the right hand of God. By the right hand of God. By the power of the Most High God. It's either they work for your good or they get destroyed by the power of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is your fear? Is it Pharaoh that is your fear? Bring Pharaoh before God right now. Pharaoh and his soldiers, bring it before God. Because Pharaoh and his soldiers, if they will not work for your good. Because Bible says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. If you love the Lord, if Pharaoh and his soldiers will not work for your good, they will be destroyed today, not be tomorrow. They will be destroyed today, not be tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. God did not destroy the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. Why? Because the fire of Nebuchadnezzar worked for the good of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God did not destroy that fire. That fire worked against the enemies of the children of God because it burnt those who brought the three Hebrew boys. But the fire did not burn the three Hebrew boys and so the Lord did not destroy the fire. Let me tell you, God can bless fire because fire is working for your good. But the day fire decides to work against you, that day God will destroy that fire. Oh yes, I am talking about it can fire, real fire. Not be saying real fire. But the fire did not work against the lovers of God. 
They did, the fire did not work against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It worked against their enemy to destroy their enemies. The fire worked for them. It destroyed those who were carrying them to throw them into the fire. But the fire did not destroy God's lover. If you are God's lover under the sound of my voice, I am assuring you today, anything... The greatest fear. What is that fear that you have? What is that thing that is trying to take the place of God? Let me tell you. If it refuses to work for you, for you, if it refuses to work for the goodness of God in your life, because all things work together for good, to them that love the Lord, then God will destroy it. I'll be showing you an example of something God had to destroy just because it was not working for the good of God's lovers. Because it was not working for the good of God's lovers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The next two minutes we are we're having is time to prophesy. Join me and say that my tomorrow will be greater than today. Let me tell you, in, in the lion's den, in the lion's den, God did not destroy the lions. Why? Because the lion did not work against Daniel. God punished the devil. Punish, punish, punish. The Daniel, Daniel came down and the lion cooperated with Daniel. Hallelujah. God did not destroy the lions. Rather, the Lord made bumper provision for the lions. Because the lions work together for the good of God's lover, which was Daniel. The next day, the kind of food that the lions had in their den, they had never had that for a very, very long time. Because they worked together for the good of what God's lover. I am assuring you those lions were not destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. They were not destroyed by the power of God because they did not touch the lover of God. Today, I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Today, I prophesy over you. Anything that will not work all together for your good as you go towards the end of this year, I have already told you from the scripture, God will destroy it. God will destroy it. God will destroy it. But anything that will work for your good, anything that will work for the good of your children, anything that will work for the good of your business, God will bless it. Can you imagine? The Lord blessed the fire because God appeared in the fire. Don't you know that wherever God is, is blessed? That fire was a blessed fire. That's the first time I would, when the Holy Spirit was revealing to me what a blessed fire, because the fire did not work against the lovers of God. God came physically into the fire. The fire became a blessed fire. My God, because the lions did not hurt God's lover, because they did not hurt Daniel, those lions became blessed. Within 24 hours, God opened heavens for these lions. Within 24 hours, God gave them a turnaround. They only did a fasting of just one human being. They fasted just one human being, one night. But what God gave to them lasted several nights. Somebody under the sound of my voice. I am assuring you, anything that will not cooperate with the will of God in your life, between now and the end of the year, will be destroyed. Will be destroyed. And I'll be showing you from the scripture, will be destroyed by the right hand of God. But anything that will work all together for your good, will be blessed. Will be blessed. Will be blessed. Everything that is working all together for the good of your children will be blessed. Everything that is working all together for the good of your business will be blessed. Everything working all together for good. For your, for your family, for your community will be blessed. It's not I saying it. That is the position of God for any and every God's lover. Join me to confess as we round up this session. Join me to confess that my tomorrow will be greater than today. My tomorrow will be greater than today. God decided to bless the fire. Bless the fire with his presence. Don't you know what it means for the presence of God to be somewhere? Wherever the presence of God is, don't you know that that, that place is blessed? The fire became a blessed territory, a blessed zone. Because even the king confirmed, I can see God in this fire. Oh my God. And because the fire will not hurt God's lovers. Anyone that is working all together for the good or for the will of God to be done in your life, I declare them blessed. I declare them blessed. 
Everyone that is working all together for your good, I declare them blessed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I declare them blessed by the fire of the Holy Ghost and the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare them blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. My tomorrow, your tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today as we round up this session. Somebody join me in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to be establishing this prayer of faith very shortly. We're going to be establishing this prayer of faith very shortly. I am not talking to everyone. I'm talking to God's lover. And I know that this mountain is filled with God's lovers. And I want you to know that fire will work for your good. I want you to know that lions will work for your good. I want you to know that in Jesus' name, everything that you come across will work for your good. If they do not work for your good, then God will destroy it. It's as simple as that. There are no shortcuts to it. There's no gain saying about it. If it will not work for your good, then the Lord will destroy it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. You want to confess right now, wherever you may be, without any fear, without any shaking in your heart, my tomorrow will be greater than today. My tomorrow will be greater than today. In the name of Jesus Christ, my tomorrow will be greater than today. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Man of God, prophesy. Prophesy, woman of God, prophesy. My tomorrow will be greater than today. In the name of Jesus Christ, my tomorrow will be greater than today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My tomorrow, your tomorrow, our tomorrow. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost power. Have your way, O Lord, in Jesus' name and establish the prophecies of our mouth. Establish, establish Jesus. Establish, establish the prophecies of our mouth. Establish the prophecies of our mouth and let your name alone be honored and glorified. Thank you for men of God, women of God, seizing with the power of the Holy Ghost, seizing with the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O God. Thank you for what you're doing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, O Lord, for men of God that are salted and men of God that are, that are anointed. Praise God. Salted and anointed, full of fire and full of, O Lord, full of flavor, full of value. Thank you, O God, for your value in our life. And thank you, O Lord, for your power and glory, your Shekinah glory. We give you praise. Father, as we carry on with this broadcast, let your will alone be done. And let every word of God on the mountain, O Lord, be blessed. Because, Jehovah, that is what you want to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy. We honor you. We give you praise. We honor you. In the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name I've decreed. Amen. Man, praise God, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice, in Jesus' name, I welcome you to this holy mountain. I can see men and women, powerful men and women of God on the mountain. Blessed be the name of God. We are just here to serve God. We are just here to do the will of God. And that is it. Any power that doesn't like what we are doing, any power that doesn't like what we are saying, sorry, we cannot help you. Okay? Sorry, we cannot help you. Go and hug the transformer kiss the life wire because we are here to serve God. End of story. Sorry, we cannot help you. Any power that is not happy with what we are doing, sorry, we cannot help you. You can hug the transformer kiss the life wire. That's, that's it. But... What God has commanded us to do, that alone we are going to do. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Somebody please type the word, turn around. I want you to prophesy, prophesy. Man of God, prophesy. Prophesy, prophesy. Woman of God, prophesy. Prophesy the word, turn around. In Jesus' name. Prophesy, turn around. Because I see turn around. In one day, everything that you have lost, my God can bring it in one day. That is God for you. In one day, my God can surprise you. My God can surprise somebody on this mountain in one day. In just one day. He can show you that he is God. He can show you that besides him there is no other. In Jesus' name. Mbo, type the word, turn around. The God of turn around. Oh yeah, please type the word, turn around. The God of turn around. 
Please type the word turn around, the God of turn around, in the name of Jesus Christ, the God of turn around, the God of turn around, turn around. Turn around. I see turn around for you, man of God, I see. I see turn around. I see turn around for you, woman of God, I see. I see turn around for your family, I see. I see turn around in Jesus' name in your community. I see turn around anywhere and everywhere to the glory and honor of the name of God. Hallelujah. <coughs> Excuse me. Please make sure you're typing the word turn around. Hallelujah. The God of turn around. Turn around, the God of turn around. There's going to be a turn around. Simple. What do you mean by turn around? We are going to see very soon. There's going to be a turn around. My God will show you that he is God. And besides him, there is no other. And everything will turn around and work for your good. Anyone that refuses to turn around and work for your good will be destroyed. It's as simple as that. It's as simple. Except you are not God's lover. If you are God's lover... Everything will turn around. Everything that is trying to put fear into you and me, trying to put panic into you and me, will turn around. It will turn around. You will recover all that it looks as you have, you have lost this year. You will recover. You will recover. The Lord made the lions in the lion den to recover all. They only fasted for one night, but the Lord made them to recover all. Within 24 hours, there was open heavens for the lions. Open heavens for the lions. God is faithful to ordinary lion that fasted only for how many? For only one night. Only one night. The Lord remembered the lions only one night. How much more you who knows how to praise God. You who is calling upon the name of God. You who is speaking in tongues. You who can bring prayer mandate. My God, how can God forget you? It's not possible. It's not possible. The Lord said in Exodus, he told Moses, in, in, in a few chapters, in chapter 1, they were afflicting these people. In three chapters, three chapters, four chapters from there, God told Moses, the cry of my people have entered into my ears. This is who you are before God. God, does, God is not joking with you. Your cry has entered into his ears. Your cry has entered into his ears. That thing that is paining you has entered into his ears. He has entered. He has noticed it. He has recognized it. He physically looks as if he's far. He's not responding. But I'm telling you, he's going to bring a turnaround. He's going to bring a turnaround. He's going to bring a turnaround. Listen to me. He's going to bring a turnaround very shortly. Listen to me, man of God. Listen to me, woman of God. Fear not. Fear not. Don't panic. If you are God's lover, you are in the, in, you are in the best place you can be. You are in the best place. Your lover is a jealous lover. Exodus 33, God is a jealous God. He's a jealous lover. He's coming to fight for you. He's coming to set you free. He's coming to defend you. He's coming to show that his love for you will break anything down that will not work for your good. Hallelujah. Yes, he's a jealous lover. He is a lover of our soul. He loves us so much. He gave his best to redeem me and you. What else would God not give? Turn around. Somebody prophesy. Prophesy, turn around. Prophesy, turn around. Don't say what the enemy wants you to say. Don't say what the devil wants you to say. Don't say that. No wonder God told us, let the weak say I am strong. God is not teaching us how to lie. God is just telling you, say what you want to see. Don't say what you are seeing. Don't say what you are physically seeing. Say what you want to manifest. Even though it's not before you, say it. Say it. Turn around. Turn around. There will be a turn around. Before this year end, all that you was meant to be yours is still coming to you. Because this year, there will never be a carryover in your life. There will never be. There can never be. There will not be a carryover in your life. There will not be a carryover in the life of your children. There will not be a carryover in your business. Pandemic or no pandemic. Pharaoh or no Pharaoh. Lion or no lion. Fire or no fire. Nebuchadnezzar or no Nebuchadnezzar. The word of God is yea and amen. That is it. It's final. That's it. It's a God of integrity. It's a God of integrity. His words are yea and amen. Bible says, and I quote, that his word will not return unto him void. Isaiah 55. For the word that has come out of the mouth of the Lord cannot return unto him void until it accomplish all that it has been sent to do. How can it be different from me and you? How can it be different from me and you? It's the same word that created heaven and earth. It's the same word that established the firmament and it did not fail. It has not failed. So how can that word fail for me and you? Man of God, I want you 
you to be reassured that the word of God for you this year, it cannot but come to pass. There will never be a carryover for you in Jesus' name. Psalm 138 verse 2, he has exalted that word that you're seeing far, far above his name. The word of God comes first. Come first, even before his name. If he can tell myself and you not to call the name of the Lord God Almighty in vain and put it as part of the laws that myself and you need to obey. Don't call the name of the Lord God in vain. And yet the scripture says that he has exalted his word. He has exalted his word. He has exalted his word above his name. I want you to know that the word of God will not fail in your life. In Jesus' name. It can never fail. It can never fail. The word of God will not fail in your life, you will never have a carryover. There must be a turnaround before this year ends. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody under the sound of my voice that the Holy Spirit is speaking through right now. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody under the sound of my voice, Holy Spirit speaking through you. How would you explain the word turn around? I have a very limited time for this session and I believe somebody you are going to be blessed. If you have not, like and follow the page Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP, which is praise, preaching and prayer. Please do like and follow the page now. Like and follow the page now so I can read from you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Somebody, how would you explain the word turn around? How would you explain the word turn around? Makaba, zege de levantalio, motroko librakon zikateli. How would you explain the word turn around? How would you explain the word turn around, man of God, woman of God? How would you explain the word turn around? Praise God. How would you explain the word turn around? Praise God. I can see the word divine turn around. I can see that. Praise God. How would you explain the word turn around? Hallelujah. I can see divine turn around, the God of turn around, beautiful word. Praise God. How would you explain the word turn around? Restoration in all areas and aspects of our lives. Beautiful. Restoration in all areas and aspects of our lives, says Shamika Smith. Praise God. The word of God will never fail in my life. Amen. Thank you. I see that. Uba Abbasinameke, thank you for that word. God bless you. Shalom. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Turn around, Masha Wilson. I see that God bless you. Put back in place. Put back in place or original position, says Masha Wilson. Turn around. God of turn around. She's explaining the word turn around. Put back in place. Okay? Put back in place or original position. God bless you, Masha Wilson. 360 degree change, says Shamika Smith. That's really powerful. 360 degree change. That's what Shamika Smith is saying. Beautiful word. 360 degrees change. How would you, man of God, woman of God, explain the word turnaround in a way that somebody coming onto this mountain for the first time can catalambano, can catalambano, praise God. They can be part of what God is doing, you know, in a beautiful way. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mashandara. Edrele Ketelie. O Bake Telimo Sikaba. Rabba Baba Delimo Le Katosi. O Kaye Bantalios Kaye Bantali. Ibrake Le Matali. Praise God. Sudden changes. I see that from Kedia to S. Sudden changes. Sudden changes, I see that from KDR to S. Sudden changes, God bless you. Sudden changes, beautiful word. Sudden changes, I see that from KDR to S. God bless you. Praise God. How would you explain the word turn around? The word turn around, reversed. D. Jackson is saying reversed. Reverse, turn around, reverse. When God chooses to reverse things, back on track, says Shamika Smith. Back on track. When God decides to get something back on the proper lane, back on, you know, track, the what it was originally meant to be. Blessed be the name of God. Back on track. Somebody put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer, put in your prayer, 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 focusing on God and see what God alone can do. Praise God. Put put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, focusing on God and see what God only can do. Back on track from, from Shamika Smith. God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are looking at the word turn around. We're looking at the word turn around. Praise God. We're looking at the word turn around. Hallelujah. The, the word turn around. Hallelujah. The word turn around. Restoration. Okay. 
turn around restoration says kdr to s restoration so somebody gets set for either you call it back on track call it reversed of any situation that is not in line sudden changes or what you call restoration god is ready to favor somebody god is ready to remember somebody praise god hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah praise god Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. We are looking at the word turn around. Turn around, praise God. Turn around. Turn around, praise God. Somebody please type the word divine encounter. Divine encounter. So when you have a divine encounter and it's bringing about turn around for you, the divine encounter your enemy will have, if they are not working all together for your good, will be for their destruction, period. The divine encounter your Pharaoh will have. The divine encounter fire or your lion will have if they are not working all together for the good of God in your life is destruction. That's it. It's destruction. Anything that wants to take the place of God in our life and will not back down will be destroyed. That's it. That is a divine encounter. Somebody type the word divine encounter, prophesy. Prophesy divine encounter. Any enemy of yours that is working all together for your good, the divine encounter, you'll be shocked. There are a lot of our enemies God will bless. There are a lot of our enemies God will bless. That is if they are working all together for our good. If they are working all together for our good. If Haman had stopped at recommending the kind of blessing that should come to Mordecai, if he had stopped at that point, then God would have had mercy on, on Haman and he would have been blessed. But you see, Haman was still so, so very hell-bent on the destruction of Mordecai and Esther. That's what destroyed him. Any enemy... That will not work all together for the good of God in your life, in my life. They will always be destroyed. I've just given you another example. Haman, if only Haman stopped at recommending the kind of blessing that should come to Haman, uh, and to Mordecai, I mean to say. If he had only stopped there, God would have blessed him. God would, because he's working all together for the for the lover, for God's lover. But because he was hell-bent that Mordecai must die, and Esther must die. That's it. He's working against God's lover, and that's why he took their place. I want you to know, I'm not cursing. I want you to know, I'm not cursing. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. Every enemy of your life and my life that is working all together for the good of God in our life, you'll be shocked. God will bless them. God will bless them. Yes, because they are assisting his lover. God will bless them. You see, even whether they do it reluctantly or they do it uh, uh, happily. Of course, your enemy will not do it happily anyway. They will do it reluctantly. But because they have done it, God will bless them. You see, God will bless them. But if they are trying to walk against the will of God in our life, is the opposite that will be the divine encounter. The divine encounter they will have with God will mean their life being terminated. Their life will be terminated. Their life will be terminated. Their life will be terminated. Everyone that lied against Daniel, their lives were terminated. Their lives were terminated by the divine encounter that took place in Babylon. Their lives were terminated because Daniel was brought out of the lion's den and they replaced lion. I want you to know, every enemy of your life, if they are hell-bent not to fulfill the purpose of God in your life, they will replace you. They will replace your children. They will replace your generation. They will replace you. It's simple. They will replace you. And that's why when they are digging a pit, they have been advised by Proverbs 26, verse 27, that they should not dig it too deep. Don't dig it to be too deep. Because whosoever diggeth a pit shall fall into it. Whosoever treads a stone, the thorn will return back to them. That's the divine encounter. Okay? The Lord has already warned them. The Lord has warned them, don't dig too deep. If you are digging for Jumbo, don't dig too deep. Because it's not Jumbo that will go inside there. It's you that will go inside there. In fact, if Jumbo go inside there, everything will work out together for the good of Jumbo. God will come and bring Jumbo out. Then, God will say, now it's your turn to also enter that pit. Ha, <laughs> God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody, I know you are fired up. You are fired up because I'm here to tell you in the less than 60 days for this year, everything will work for your good because you are God's lover. 
Even your enemy will work for your good and God will bless them. But if they refuse, they'll be destroyed like Haman. They'll be destroyed. They'll be destroyed completely. The lions cooperated. God blessed the lions. Fire cooperated. God came into the fire. You know wherever the presence of God is, is blessed. God came into the fire. My God. God came into the fire. Hallelujah. A lot of people are still praying on the mountain, rolling and fasting for 40 days to see or to receive the presence of God. That fire received the presence of God on a platter of gold because it's not touching the lovers of God. Everything that will not touch you, God will bless. Everything that tries to touch you will answer to the divine encounter, will answer to God. God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. I want to ask somebody, how would you explain the word divine encounter as we round up this session? How would you explain the word divine encounter? Man da kaba jibra ketelemo, maza ketelemo si kaba teli. Onga ga 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 le dalie baron zali bronzi je ketelemo barokon zi katali. Alpha Omega, your work is powerful. Hey, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything is working for my good also. I tap into that for everyone on the mountain. Thank you for typing that word. Everything is, is working for our good. Everything will work for our good by fire, by force. By fire, by force is not optional. By fire, by force. Because this year cannot be a failure in your life. This year cannot fail. Because God has spoken specifically concerning this year. And it must catch up with you and I. It must catch up with you and I. It must catch up with every God's lover. That is it. End of story. It must catch up with us. It's not possible that what God has said will not come to pass. It's not possible. It must catch up with you and me. So shall it be. Hallelujah. How would you explain the word divine and counter. The hand of God in operation says, Shamika Smith, I see that God bless you. Divine encounter. The hand of God in operation. The hand of God in operation. When the hand of God is moving, when the hand of God is acting, when the hand of God is in control, God punish the devil. Hallelujah. The hand of God, when it is what? In control. Praise God. How would you explain the word divine word? Divine encounter. Hallelujah. Divine encounter. Nekaba. Zagedelibo. Orababa. How would you explain the word divine encounter? Somebody make sure you're putting in prayer. Make sure you're putting in prayer, prayer. Make sure you're putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. Do not bother yourself about anything. Just focus on your God because his presence is here. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. His presence is here. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful God. Wonderful God. Wonderful God. Praise God. Breakthrough says Margaret KB. Breakthrough says Margaret KB. We are looking at the word divine encounter. Breakthrough says Margaret KB. God bless you, Martins. Martins AJ. God bless you, Martins AJ. God bless you. Okay, praise God. Breakthrough. Okay, so somebody gets it because when you have divine encounter, that is the breakthrough of God coming through for you and coming through for me. My God, today is wonderful. Today is going to be powerful for somebody. Hallelujah. Today is I feel the power of God so much in the air. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Somebody make sure you are prophesying. Make sure you are prophesying because that is all God wants myself and you to do. Anybody that doesn't like it can go and hug the transformer or kiss a life where we are here doing what God commanded us to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, share on your wall. Please share in a group. Share, share with a soul. Share in Jesus' name. God bless you, Chanel D. God bless you, Chanel D. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. So she's explaining. We're saying what? Do How can you explain the word divine encounter? And she's saying breakthrough in Jesus' name. Somebody, there's some, there, definitely there's going to be a breakthrough. <coughs> Don't join those who want to hear certain things. Stay with those who like to hear the word of God. We just want to hear what God is saying about us. End of story. We don't want to hear what anybody wants us to hear. We don't want to do what anybody wants us to do. We just want to do the will of God. Nothing more. We just want to do the will of God. We just want to hear God. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Transformation, says Shamika speak. Yes, so whenever there is divine encounter, there must be transformation. There must be a turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. God honor every man of God, woman of God. Praise God. Praise God. Somebody please type the word 
terminated. Enemy must be terminated. So type the word terminated. The word terminated. Any enemy that will not work on together for your good. This is the prophecy and it is a fact. Any enemy that will not work all together for the good of God's lover, their lives will be terminated. It's, there are no gains saying about it. It's a fact. Please type the word terminated. Praise God. I see the word manifestation for divine encounter. God bless you. Terminated. This is a strong word and this is what will happen. Except the enemy of your life and my life for this year decide to cooperate with Romans chapter 8 verse 28, then they will be blessed. But if they will not cooperate, they will be terminated because that is like them going against the will of God. Every enemy of Daniel was, their lives were terminated because, because they chose to be against God's lover. The lions decided to work all together for the good of God in the life of Daniel. Within 24 hours, the Lord blessed the lions. As far as the lions are concerned, they had open heaven. Somebody Every enemy of your life that will all together work for the goodness and the purpose of God to be established, the will of God, they will have open heavens. I am telling you, it's the truth. Those enemies of yours, they will have open heavens. But anyone that will go out long ahead with God, that will want to say, no, this life must be, this life can never make it. And they are working against you and me. And they are not working in line with the will of God. Their lives will be terminated. Exactly what they are thinking about me and you will revert back to them. It will be reverted back to them. It will be reverted back to them. It will be reverted back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, how would you explain the word terminated as we round up this session? Oh yeah, somebody very quickly. How would you explain the word terminated as we round up this session? The word terminated. How would you explain the word terminated as we round up this session? In the name of Jesus Christ. The word terminated. How would you explain the word terminated as we round up this session? In the name of Jesus Christ. Reka ba 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 delimo. O zake telimo o bare e kalianda limo Terminated is the word. Terminated. Every power, everything in Jesus' name, not working in line with the will of God for your life, my life will be what? Will be terminated. Very quickly. How would you explain the word terminated? God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. How would you explain the word terminated? Very quickly. Uh, we have limited time. I'm rounding up this session. Put to an end, says Kenya to us. No more, says Shamika Smith. No no more, says Samika Smith. The lives of my enemies will be terminated. Amen, says Uboabasi. In the make Uko, God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Delete, says D. Jackson. Beautiful word. Delete, says D. Jackson. Hallelujah. Okay, so that's what God will do. Come to an end, says Uboabasi. In the make God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Hallelujah. Destroyed, says Shamika Smith. Destroyed. Thank you, Bobas. In the make Uko. He says, come to an end. Praise God. Terminated. Yes, Masha Wilson, you're on point. Terminated. Decapitated, says Shamika Smith. Decapitated. The enemy will be what? Decapitated. Praise God. They will be decapitated, made in, they will be, they will be, they will be disfigured by the power of the Most High God, by the divine encounter that will take place. Praise God. Taken out permanently. Beautiful word from Marsha Wilson. <laughs> Our enemy will be taken out permanently. And I love the word permanently. The emphasis is the word permanently. They will never come back again. Yes, because they are not working all together for your good and my good. So when God takes them out, he's not going to give them a second chance. He takes them out permanently. I love that word. Takes them out permanently. Praise God. Removed. Says Shamika Smith. The enemy will be removed. Shamika Smith is saying, Amanda L, God bless you, Shalom. Shalom, Amanda, God bless you, Shalom, Shalom. Praise God. Oh my God, the power of God is so mighty upon the mountain today. Hallelujah. And the spirit of the Lord is moving in a very powerful way. God is speaking through his church. Uprooted and consumed, says he says Kedia to us, my God, uprooted and consumed, praise God, dismantled, says Shamika Smith, when we say terminated, dismantled, broken down to pieces, God punished the devil, dismantled, praise God, 
Oh, this God is sweet. Destroyed. <laughs> Destroyed. God is wonderful. God is wonderful. This is what God wants to do in your life, in my life. If only you and I will give him a chance. If only you will give him a chance. If only you will allow him. If only I will allow him. And I'm willing to allow him. And I know there are men and women of God under the sound of my voice ready to allow the spirit of God have his way. It's time for us to go into the world and it's time for us to pray. Hallelujah. It's time for us to go into the world and it's time for us to pray. It's time for us to go into the world and it's time for us to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Papa. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Amen. The chief excellency is Jesus on this mountain. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Papa God. The most excellency is Jesus. Oh yes. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I will praise the Lord. I will praise this God. I will praise this God with my whole heart. With my whole heart. I will worship this God. Wonderful people. Praise the Lord. I go praise this God. I go praise the more. I go praise the more with my whole heart. With my whole soul. I go worship this God. Oh, get people. I beg, come join me. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. I will praise him with my whole heart, with my whole soul. I will worship Yahweh, wonderful people. Praise the Lord. I'll sing in broken. I want to sing it now in broken. I go praise him as I go worship this God. I go worship him with my whole heart, with my whole soul. I go dance before this God, Obuga people, I beg, come join me. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah, praise Him. Hallelujah, praise. Praise the Lord, God is good. Hallelujah, praise Him. Hallelujah, praise Him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, praise the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah, praise Him. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord, God is good. I know some people want me to sing that broken song again. <laughs> to sing the broken version again. I will praise the Lord. English now. I will praise the Lord. I will praise him with my whole heart, with my whole soul. I will adore this God, wonderful people. Praise the Lord. I will praise this God. I will praise this God. I will roll before this God with my whole heart, with my whole soul. I will sing before this God. Wonderful people, praise the Lord. Broken down. I go praise the Lord. Oh yeah, I go praise the Lord. I say I go praise this God with my whole heart, with my whole soul. I go dance before this God. Bonga people, come join me. I say. I go worship a more. I go worship this God. I go worship a more with my whole heart. With everything what I get, I go dance before this God. Obunga people, I beg, come join me. Hallelujah, praise Him. Hallelujah, praise Him. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah, praise Him. Join me and say, Praise, praise the Lord, God is good. Eternal Rock of Ages, Alpha, Omega, Daddy, at the end of this word and at the end of this broadcast, let your people join me to say this God is good. Good. This God is good. Nothing can discredit you, Alpha Omega. 
Nothing can discredit you this year with all the pandemic, with all the sickness, with all that has happened, with all kinds of the economical meltdown. Daddy, you are good. You are good. There can never be a fault found in you. You are good unto those who seek you in spirit and in truth. Reveal yourself on this holy mountain. Reveal yourself to your church. And wipe away the tears of that your lover. Because Lord, you are a jealous lover. And you are moved by the tears of your people. Wipe away the tears of that person. Bible says that they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Oh Lord, it is time for anyone that have been sowing in tears as Israel was sowing in tears. You decided in one go to turn all their tears into rejoicing. On this holy mountain, eternal rock of ages, and foul mega agbani ancient of days hear the cry of your church and let your power flow on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ so shall it be in Jesus name I've decreed amen hallelujah praise God hallelujah if you come with me to Exodus chapter 15 Exodus chapter 15 from verse 19 to 27 that's what God says I should sow as a seed into the life of somebody on this mountain. Listen to me. I do not know how long you have been crying to the Lord, how long you have been in that particular position, but God is ready to rescue you and to rescue me. There is going to be a divine encounter. For the God's lover is divine encounter that will bring testimony. For the enemy of God's lover, but working all together for the good of God's lover, the divine encounter will be promotion in their life. Honestly, it will be promotion. But to the enemy of God's lover that is working against the will of God in the life of God's lover, God, the encounter they will have will be for their life to be terminated. God punish the devil. Their life will be terminated. Look at the greatest fear in the life of the children of Israel. Look at how God made the greatest fear of their life look as if it's nothing. Exodus chapter 15 from verse 19. For the, the horse of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought again the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry ground, on dry land in the midst of the sea. This is the difference between a, a lover of God and Somebody that is not God's lover. And this time around, even this enemy would have been speared by God as God speared enemies before now. God speared enemies before now. But because those enemies had regard for God, they had fear for God, they had reverence for God. And so God had reverence for them also. God reverted, you know, God reserved blessings for them just because of the fear of God they had. But these ones, look at they are forgotten. They think that it is still the same Israel that was a slave unto them. Somebody, let me tell you, your days of slavery, they are over. Look, they sh let the enemy of our life should have a quick mental shift. Because if the enemy of our life is still looking at myself and you with the eyes of yesterday, if they are looking at myself and you with the eyes of yesterday, not knowing that every morning it is new, Every money is new. Every money is great. Is the faithfulness of God. At this time, Pharaoh and his and his chariots and his and his soldiers were looking at Israel with the eyes of the Israel in Egypt. This is a different Israel. This is a different Israel. This is the Israel that the love of God is working for them. The love of God already tore the Red Sea. Somebody, let me tell you. Don't look at yourself. Like somebody of yesterday or day before. You are different. Even though you are in this year of pandemic. Do you know? You are walking through You are walking through pandemic. But none of the pandemic is falling on you. None of whatever is classified as pandemic is falling on you. Look, there is difference between God's lovers and those who do not love God. Malachi chapter 3 verse 18. God said, I, Jehovah, I will make a difference between him that served me and the one that do not serve me. It's God who said, I will make a difference. There will be clarity. Nobody will make that mistake. They will know that this one is serving God. This one is fake. This one is real. God say, I will make the difference. I will make the difference. I will bring my signature and endorse on the one that is serving me in spirit and in truth. And also, I will make people don't, to know the one that is fake. That is it. So you can go ahead. You can't deceive God's people. You can't. If you, are, if you claim that you are serving God 
and you're not serving God, God say will come and disgrace you. God say will come and disgrace you. That people will know that you're not serving him. And the one that is serving God, God say I will come and make people know this one is truly a man of God, a woman of God. It's God who say he will do it. Not my, it is I will send angel. Malachi 3 verse 18. Go and read it. Malachi 3 18. I will make a difference. That's what God says. I, Jehovah, will make a difference between him that served me and the one that served me not. So if you like prophesy evil, if you like prophesy lies, prophesy from your stomach, God will make people know that that prophecy is not true. And the one that's prophesying from God, God will make them know that this word is from God. Period. You cannot help God. I cannot help God. If God did not give you anything and God asks you to sing, just sing and you'll see that the power of God will flow because he asks you to sing. If God gave you what to say, say only the things God asks you to say. Don't say extra. If not, God will not back it up and everybody will know that's a lie. That's it. God did not say I was send an angel. Now, Pharaoh was looking at Israel with the, with the former eyes of understanding. Is it not the same Israel? I will go after them. I will catch them. I will deal with them. Everything that is chasing you this year, I prophesy. Everything that is chasing you like Pharaoh. Everything that is chasing you like Pharaoh. Oh my God. <coughs> What is that thing chasing your children? What is that thing chasing your business? What is that thing chasing your health, your good health? Even when the Lord has given you divine healing, even when God has given you favor, even when God has made a path for you to go, yet He's still chasing you. And He's chasing you not to work all together for your good. It's a different ball game if Pharaoh and his children were coming to assist, to help. But God knows the minds of every man. Bible said that the heart of the king is in the Lord's hand. The heart of the king is in the Lord's hand and eternity with us whoever he will it. Bible say that no, that no man can understand the heart of a man. The heart of a man is desperately wicked. Who can discern it except God? Who can discern it? They are chasing after God's people not to help them. Not to help them. They don't want to go through that dry land. The dry land was not meant for them. The dry land was meant for God's lovers. If you are a God lover under the sound of my voice, get said, my God will give you a safe landing this year. It's a, an apostolic decree. It's a prophecy. It's an apostolic decree. My God will give you a safe landing this year. He's going to make a path for you if you are God's lover. And everyone that wants to also, you know, generally tag along. The Holy Spirit will make a difference between him that is serving God and him that is not serving him. Praise God. The Lord ensured that Pharaoh and all his armies died inside that water as the water closed up again upon them. The water closed up again upon them. And look at the fear of Israel brought before them lifeless. Somebody, the greatest fear you have ever had. The greatest panic, I see God destroying it. The Lord destroyed Pharaoh and all his armies and the water did not wash them to the other side of Egypt. The water washed them to this other side of the wilderness as a proof that I'm a faithful God. All the children of Israel saw the corpses of all the soldiers and Pharaoh. The water washed it to the side where the children of Israel had crossed over to. The Lord said, look at, I could kill them long before now. I was only giving them opportunity to repent. But I answered your prayer. God is showing them the, the corpse of their enemy to say, I'm a faithful God. I am a faithful God. I've terminated their lives. I decree one more time. Everything that will not work all together for the will of God in your life as you go towards the end of this year, everything that wants to work against the will of God will be terminated. Will be terminated. Will be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to understand what happened in verse 20 and 21. Because if I just read verse 20 and 21 to the house, we probably would not catch the, the picture of what God had done that necessitated what happened in verse 20 and 21 of Exodus 15. Bible said Miriam the prophetess uh, and, the, and the sister of Aaron took a tendril in her hand and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. 
And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider had been thrown into the sea. So Moses brought Israel forth fr from you know, from, from the land of bondage. Moses brought Israel forth from the land of bondage and brought them to the wilderness of Saul. And right there they were in the wilderness three days and found no water. Another case started. But you can imagine the people dancing with timbrel. Why were they dancing? Because those who were antagonizing them, those who looked like so powerful, those who were maltreating them, those who took advantage of them, look at all their bodies. Look at them lifeless. God has terminated them. Somebody under the sound of my voice, I see God terminating. Everything that ever made you doubt the reality of God in your life. Everything that ever made you doubt the power of God, I see God terminating it. I see God getting rid of it. I see God terminating it. In Jesus' name, it is your time to rejoice. It's your time to dance. Somebody says, my season to sing and dance. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is your season. You can never be in sorrow. You can never be in pain. You can never be in shame. The enemy wanted you to remain in bondage all along, all through your life. And they are looking at you with the eyes of yesterday. Not knowing that today is a new morning. Today is a fresh anointing upon your life. Today is the day of joy and rejoicing. Today is the joy or day of singing and rejoicing. My God, I say that Miriam and all the women started to sing and to rejoice. Let me say something. There is a prophecy in the book of Joel. This is how the prophecy came to pass for the children of Israel. And I'm waiting for somebody under the sound of my voice. I know that definitely this prophecy I'm about to read also will come to pass in your life. The prophecy in the book of Joel, Joel chapter 2 verse 21, it says, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Oh my God. Fear not, fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. This is what God did. That's why all the women came out. All the women came out with Miriam, with their timbrel, with their tambourine. They started to dance. They started to sing. They started to dance. They started to sing. They started to dance. That God has conquered, has prevailed. There had been an encounter, and this encounter favored them and brought down all the enemies of their life. I prophesy into somebody's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy that wants to bring you down, every enemy that wants to bring the glory of God down, in the life of your children, your community, your nation, your business. The power of God will terminate their lives because they are coming at loggerheads, not with man. They are coming at loggerheads with God. Yes, they are coming at loggerheads with God and they will meet with God like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, it is time to sing and it is time to dance. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Rejoice and be glad. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. And this was what Israel was doing. The same Pharaoh that brought so much fear and terror. Now they are dancing and jumping because Pharaoh is no more. Somebody, I want you to know that this pandemic will come to an end very soon. Everything that is daring us, that is disturbing the joy of God, that is trying to disturb our gladness, and our rejoicing will surely come to an end shortly in the name of Jesus Christ because we are in the season of rejoicing. We are in the season of being glad and the season of rejoicing. Somebody join me and say the Lord will do great things. And that's why I say God of turnaround. Look at, he has done great things. Look at, the enemy is now lying down lifeless. Look at, he's done great things. He is turned things around. No more will Pharaoh disturb them anymore. No more will the soldiers bring terror to them anymore. The Lord has done great things. Somebody, my God, is going to do great things in your life. God is going to do great things in your life. God is going to do great things in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you know the nature of humans, just when they got to the wilderness and they could not have water to drink, 
They started to cry out. They started to murmur against Moses. That's human beings for you. you. That's human beings for you. They've just forgotten that they've just seen, you know, Pharaoh's, you know, body and all his soldiers. God has just given them victory. That's human beings for you. They want something new again. Now they say we are thirsty. Look at, we don't have water to drink. And they started to murmur. Please don't be somebody like that in the presence of God with short memory. Somebody type the word short memory. Don't be somebody of short memory. Don't just allow just because of what you are facing right now just because of these challenges you are facing right now you forget the testimonies of the faithfulness of God in your life you start to murmur don't be such a person in the presence of God these people have just forgotten look at just few minutes they were glad they were rejoicing they were jumping with tambourine they were jumping and doing you know rejoicing that God has answered them look at the same set of people now they are murmuring against Moses now they are murmuring that we don't have water to drink you see don't be somebody of a short memory God does not like such do not forget the faithfulness of God God does not like such don't be somebody of what of a short memory in Jesus name don't be somebody of a short memory allow the glory of God allow the testimony of what God has done to be you know to retain in your in your heart and mind in Jesus name anyway they murmured against Moses and he cried unto the Lord and he the Lord showed him a tree in verse 25 and when he removed the tree and he casted the tree into the bitter water because they were complaining that this water is bitter we cannot and we need to drink we want to drink you know they call the place the water mirror you see the want to drink in verse 23 and 24 so the lord opened the eyes of moses as he cried out to the lord somebody today as you cry out to god god will open your eyes god will open your eye you will see that tree you will see that solution it's not far away from you you will see that solution to that circumstance you see the solution to the situation you see the solution in jesus name. it's not far away from you and i want you to trust god till the very end don't be like those who will not even give god a second chance they just start to criticize and murmur very greatly. The Lord says you should pluck the tree and put it into the water and the water will become sweet and that's exactly what Moses did. Praise God. If thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and will walk to do the things which he has commanded thee to do right in his sight and will give ears to his commandment and keep all his status. This is what the Lord says. I will put none of these diseases upon you which I have brought upon Egyptians for I am the Lord that he let thee. I will surely bring none of these diseases upon you. This is, I'm reading Exodus 15, Exodus 15 verse 26, praise God, and said, if thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will, and will do that which is right in the sight of the Lord, and will not, you know, in the, will not go against my commandment, and will keep all my statutes. It says, I will put none of these diseases upon you. I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I brought upon e the Egyptians. For I am the Lord the God that he let thee, praise God. I am the Lord thy God that he let thee, praise the Lord. Lord. I am the Lord thy God that he let thee. If only you hack it. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice as we enter into faith clinic and healing atmosphere, trusting God, I just want you to trust God in Jesus' name. If you are ready to do the will of God, if you are ready to follow the word of God, if you are ready to do what God is, is happy with, I want you to know that none of the diseases before now will be your portion. And if you are sick under the sound of my voice, God will heal you. God is going to come through for you in Jesus name and will heal you. There's going to be a turnaround. If you are having any form of difficulty financially, God is going to bring about a turnaround for you. In fact, in verse 27, the Lord ensured that the people had 12 wells of water and the Lord brought, the Lord brought them to a point whereby they found 12 wells of water, three scores and 10 palm trees. Three scores and 10 palm trees. Three, a score is 20. Three score is 60. Three score and 10 means 70. So they found 70 palm trees. They encamped there by the waters. So not only God gave them a temporary a temporary provision which is the tree being thrown into the bitter water it became sweet. But when God brought them to their wealthy place, to the place they will settle. They found 12 wells. 12 wells that were already sweet. And they found 
70 palm trees, 70 palm trees, and they camp at that point. Praise God. Somebody, it is time. Look at this, the same set of people who were saying, we are thirsty. We want to drink something. The Lord brought them to a place and they, there was total turnaround. More than enough water to, to do anything anybody wants to do. Palm trees, you know, that could take care of everyone's need. God is faithful. Hallelujah. Somebody join me and say, this God is faithful. I go back to the prophecy of today, Joel 2 verse 21. Prophecy of today, Joel 2 verse 21. God has sent me to somebody. Don't fear anymore. Fear not. Let me speak the way we say it in broken. Stop fearing. Stop being afraid. Stop fearing. Make you no fear again. Stop fearing. No fear Pharaoh anymore. Don't fear Pharaoh. Stop fearing. Stop being afraid. Okay? Stop being afraid. God is here. It is the time for what? For you to be glad and rejoice. Physically, children of Israelites came out dancing and singing because God conquered over the enemy that will not allow the will of God to be done. Over the enemy that will not allow the will of God to be done. God conquered over them. Let me tell you, the lions fasted only one night. And the next day it was time for gladness and rejoicing for the lions. Because they had more than enough to eat and to drink. More than enough to be satisfied in their, in their lion's den. Somebody, if the enemy will not walk in line with the will of God, their lives will be terminated as the life of Pharaoh and his soldiers were terminated. But any enemy that will walk in line with the will of God in your life, in my life, I am assuring you it is the word of God. Nobody can do anything about it. God will bless them. <laughs> God will bless them. Praise God. God will bless them. He's a faithful God. Somebody is time to prophesy. I will not fear. What can the enemy do unto me? Fear dies on this mountain right now in Jesus name and love of God take over somebody prophesy prophesy Holy Spirit say stop there it's time for us to pray the next 20 minutes we want to pray fervent prayer we want to pray fervent prayer trust me to keep the time I'm going to tell you as we go through and once it's 20 minutes I'll let you know make sure you are praying it's time let us command every fear to die every fear of the enemy to die God already has plans for your enemies God has plans for my enemies it's either they do the will of God or they answer to God in whichever way. If they do the will of God, they will be blessed by God. If they do opposite the will of God, they will answer to God because God will terminate their life. It's time in Jesus' name, somebody bind every spirit of fear. Bind every spirit of fear. God should. God should. Imagine all along if the children of Israel were afraid of Pharaoh. Look at how Pharaoh died just like an ant. Just, just like an ant. The Lord took care of Pharaoh. Look at what you people have been afraid of. Look at what you are afraid of. Look at what you were, were crying and screaming for. Look at how God terminated their life. Because they are not ready to do the will of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fear comes to an end in your life. Fear comes to an end in my life. Fear comes to an end in the life of our children. Fear comes to an end in the life of our community. Fear comes to an end in the life of nations of the world. Fear comes to an end. Fear not. This is a season of being glad and rejoicing. This is the season of dancing. This is the season of rejoicing. Yahweh is for us. Hallelujah. Yahweh is for us. It's our season of dancing. It's our season of rejoicing. Yahweh is for us. If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, fear not. Let every fear die. In Jesus' name, are you sick? Are you in the hospital? What did the doctor tell you? And is bringing fear in your heart. Let that fear die naturally now. Let it die. Because when fear is there, it will want to disturb the flow of faith. God punish the devil. Let that fear die now. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Prophesy that from this particular circumstance that wants to bring fear, my God will receive glory. My God will receive honor. My God will receive glory and honor. From this same circumstance that wants to bring fear, from this same circumstance that wants to bring fear, Pharaoh and his, and his soldiers that wants to bring fear, God receive glory. Look at all the women dancing. Look at all of them jumping with tambourine. The same women that were crying at the other side of the sea. The same women that were panicking. The same women that were 
were wondering, will God come through for us on this other side of the of the sea, at, at the wilderness side? Look at now, they are jumping and dancing. You will surely jump. You will dance. We will jump and dance come the end of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to jump and dance. It is the season of gladness. It is the season of rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how much Things the pandemic wants to become. The hand of God is also here to deliver us. The hand of God is also here to have mercy upon us. The hand of God is also here and is upon all the doctors and the nurses. The hand of God is also upon our community. God will have mercy upon us. Because I see God destroying the pandemic as God destroyed Pharaoh and his soldiers. God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. I refuse to fear. I refuse to give room to, to fear. The only fear I have is the fear of God. And the only fear permitted on the mountain is the fear of God. Fear not. The Lord said, tell my church, fear not. Fear not. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. God can never lie. God can never lie. Somebody join me and say, way maker, make a way for us. Way maker, make a way for us. He made the rest sea to pass. What is that rest sea in your life? What is that rest sea in your life? The lions, what did God do? The Lord shut the mouth of the lions. Every enemy of your life, in Jesus' name, every lion, the Lord start to, starts to close their mouth. Hallelujah. The Lord arrested Saul on his way to Damascus. On his way to Damascus, Acts chapter 9, the Lord arrested him. Excuse me. What is wrong with you? What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to? I said, Lord, I did not know I'm fighting against you. He said, no, you're fighting against me. Nobody can kick against the bricks. You cannot do that. The Lord arrested him. May the Lord arrest every fear in your heart. May the Lord arrest the Lord who arrested the fire and did not make fire to destroy Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The Lord arrested the lion. The Lord that arrested Saul on his way to destroy the people in Damascus. The Lord also arrest every enemy that is not walking in line with the will of God in your life. The Lord arrest them now by fire by force. The Lord arrest them now by fire by force. The Lord arrest them now by fire by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord arrest everything. Anything, everything. The Lord arrest. We make a make a way for us. We make a make a way for us. What is that resting before you? The Lord make it path. In Jesus name, the Lord make it to open up. The Lord make it path. In Jesus name, the Lord make it to open we have 15 more minutes to go. Oh my God. Somebody make sure you are praying. Manga dalaga dalaga ba. Jegedele gedele mo. O rakete limo sikaba. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous Bible say avail it more. Today I pray that God will reckon with your prayer. You know Israel did not know that all the prayer they were praying God was listening. God told Moses the prayer of Israel has come into my ears. Somebody I pray that you are not joking with the prayer you are praying because your prayer is entering into the ears of God. Your prayer, man of God. Your prayer, woman of God. Your prayer is entering into the ears of God as we speak right now. Shande, Ekali Matosi, or Rabab. Your prayer is entering into the ears of God. Mandele, Gedele, Gedele, or Ragababa. We make a make a way. We make a make a way. Make a way, O oh Lord, for our community and our nations. Make a way, O oh God, for people of the world. Make a way for families. Make a way for father, mother. Make a way for the youths. Make a way. Where there seem to be no way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every prayer mandate I soak with the power of the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I soak every prayer mandate with the power of the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. If you are broken hearted under the sound of my voice. The Lord start to heal your heart. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord grant you a turnaround. The way maker make a way for you right now. It's a season of being glad. It's a season of rejoicing. It's a season of being glad. It's a season of rejoicing. The Lord bring gladness your way. The Lord make you to rejoice. The Lord bring gladness your way. The Lord make you to rejoice. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say the Lord bring 
bring gladness your way. The Lord give you reasons to rejoice in the land of the living. The Lord give you reasons to rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord uphold you, man of God, woman of God. The Lord uphold you. The Lord uphold you by his right hand. The Lord uphold you. The Lord uphold your children in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, everything start to work for my good. You need to command it. Bible say, believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Believe with your heart, confess with your mouth, and find salvation. Everything start to work for my good. Confess. Welcome to Faith Clinic. All you need in this session is just faith. Just believe that God will do it. Just believe that God is listening to you. Just believe that the prayer you're praying in Jesus' name, whether the enemy likes it or not, God has already approved it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makaba, reke deli gadeli, hozandere balimosi, matroko pomosi kabateli, horababa, prophesy, prophesy, man of God, prophesy. In the name of Jesus prophesy make a way oh lord make a way make a way oh lord make a way make a way for that person in jesus name whether they are the person is having organ any form of organ problem oh lord make a way Oh Lord, make a way in this faith clinic and healing atmosphere. Let your healing flow. Let your healing flow in Jesus' name. What is that part of this person's life that is bitter? Oh Lord, drop that which will make their life sweet in Jesus' name. I drop the name Jesus Christ. I drop the name Jesus. I drop blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead. I drop the power of the Holy Spirit. I plead. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the life of this person become sweet. Let the destiny of this person turn around for good. God of turn around. Let the life of this person become sweet. Let the life of this person turn around for good in Jesus' name. Everyone pray. Let me tell you, if you are under the sound of my voice, you do not know what to pray. Just plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrew 12, 24 made us know that the blood speaks as I'm talking now. The blood will speak on your behalf. Accurate prayer mandate. Also, you can pray in tongues or you can say, Holy Ghost, take control, take over. The Holy Spirit helps us with, you know, to it helps our infirmities. Hallelujah. So you can tell Holy Spirit to take control, to take over. Hallelujah. And you can be leaning on the prayer of Jesus Christ for you, Romans 8, 34. You can lean on the prayer of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ, even the name Jesus, Bible said that that name and the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, there is no other power given under heaven that can be greater than that name, that can be greater than the power in the name of Jesus Christ, Acts chapter 4, 12, so as you are praying, something is happening in the spirit realm, somebody pray the prayer of Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, man delibo sikaba, Joel chapter 2 verse 21, pray the prayer of Joel chapter 2 verse 21, in the name of Jesus Christ, because it is time for you to rejoice and be glad, it is time for you to rejoice and be glad. It is time, man of God, it is time. It is time for your family to rejoice and be glad in the name of Jesus Christ. It is time for your child, for your family to rejoice and be glad. Neither is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So you can use the name Jesus. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. You can use the name Jesus because it is time for you to rejoice. It's time to, I mean, how else can we explain the word glad to be glad and to rejoice? It's not time to fear. It's not time to be afraid. It's time to rejoice. Do not listen to any other thing. Listen to what the Bible is saying concerning you and me. It's not time to fear, fear not. It's time to be glad and to rejoice because the Lord will do great things. Somebody join me and say, Lord, come and do great things. Ah, Jehovah, come and do great things. Ah, Lord, come and do great things that everyone that knows me will know that it can only be God. They will join me to say it can only be God. Lord, come and do great things. Daddy, come and share your glory with nobody in my life. Come and do that which will make me rejoice and be glad. That will make us rejoice and be glad. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the midst of fear. In the midst of prevailing fear. Pharaoh and his armies rushing to come and kill God's people. 
in the midst of prevailing fear, within a few seconds, the Lord brought the, the dead body of Pharaoh and his men to his children and said, look at, I'm a faithful God. And they started to rejoice. I am commanding everything that is supposed to bring fear in you. Fear and, you know, panic to you and your family. The Lord will show his faithfulness. And you will start to be glad. You will start to rejoice. You start to be glad. You start to rejoice. In the name of Jesus Christ. You start to what? Be glad and you will rejoice. Hallelujah. <coughs> Everything that is supposed to bring fear. That is supposed to break you down. Break me down. I see God terminating such things. One after the other. I see God terminating the terminators of our life. Every terminator of our life. Every terminator of our life. I see God terminating the terminators of our life. I see God terminating the terminators of our life. God punish the devil. Rakaba delimo sikaba. Endrele keteli. O zagadalagaba. Mashandaraba. O praketeli mo sikaba. Somebody put in prayer. Put in prayer prayer put in prayer 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 i see god terminating maga gaga gaga manga gaga gaga libra ke de limosi manga gaga gaga i see god terminating every terminator of our life everything that is planning to terminate your destiny terminate your joy terminate your your glory terminate the purpose of god in your life in my life i see god as he terminated the life of heman as the lord terminated the life of heman i see god terminating the lives of anything and everything that wants to terminate your life and my life. If they are not working all together for the purpose of God in our life. If they are not working all together for good in our life. I see God terminating. I see God fast bringing to an end. I see God terminating. I see God bringing fast to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba keteli mo sikaba. Ebran delegedeli. Marokoto sukaba. Somebody join me to pray. Wipe away tears on this mountain. Somebody join me to prophesy. Wipe away tears on this mountain. Bring about a turnaround that will bring the fear of God. Bring about the turnaround that will bring the fear of God. Wipe away tears on this mountain. Wipe away tears in the eyes of those in the hospital prison hope. Those who are trusting God for the spirit of God to come through for them. Wipe away tears, O oh Lord, O oh Lord. Wipe away tears. Only you can do what no man can do. That's why we call upon you, eternal rock of ages. That's why we call upon you, beginning and the end. Who is that prayer warrior? We have seven more minutes. Make these seven minutes very hot. God punish the devil. Makatosi. Make it very hot. Pray from the depth of your heart. Remember, if you are pleasing man, you will receive reward from man. But if you are pleasing God, you will receive from God. Let us cry out to the Lord. There are people depending on your prayer right now on my prayer. There are people. God has called us to stand in as an intercessor on their behalf. Everyone that is weeping. Everyone bringing out very hot tears from their faces. Oh Lord, it's time to turn things around for them. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Turn things around for your people. Turn things around for your people. Turn things around for your people. The Damascus church did not know what was going on when God arrested Saul. I am sure some people were praying. Hallelujah. Some people were praying. At least we know Ananias was praying in Acts chapter 9. You can imagine. Some people were praying. As you're praying right now, something is happening in the spirit realm. Even though physically you might not be conscious of it. You might not know. You might not be conscious of it. You might not know. Oh Lord, help my fire not to be put out. Somebody that is an intercessor. This prayer mandate is not for everybody. If you are an intercessor under the sound of my voice, join me to pray. Let my fire not be put out. Let the fire of God in my life not be put out. Let the anointing not be put out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because if God raises you to pray for somebody and you are not praying, you can imagine what will happen to such anointing. If God wants you to stand in the gap for someone and you are not putting that anointing to use, you can imagine what will happen to such a person. Oh Lord, may my anointing not go down. Somebody, you are moving from glory to glory. You're moving from glory to glory. You're moving from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, from one degree of rejoicing and, re and being glad to another level of rejoicing and being glad from glory to glory. For as long as you're putting your anointing to use, for as long as you're the salt of the earth, for as long as you are making God proud, the anointing will increase. The anointing will increase in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord made us to know by the proverb of what? Of the talent. He made us to know that the God that we are serving, when you put the talent into use, it will come 
help you to enter into plenty. Somebody in Jesus' name, by virtue of your faithfulness, standing in the gap and using the anointing, standing in the gap and praying, standing in the gap and studying the word, standing in the gap and saying, Lord, let your will be done, standing in the gap and supporting the work of God, standing in the gap and doing that which is pleasing in the sight of the Lord, you are anointing, oh Lord, double, double anointing. Mark, about tell him, double, double grace, double, double anointing, double, double grace, double, double anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, if you are the type sharing the word of God, more grace, more insight to the word of God, more grace. If you are the type that is prophesying genuinely from God, not prophesying what people want to hear, more grace so that you will speak accurately the will of God into the life of as many who would want to hear the truth of the word of God. More grace to speak the word. To every intercessor under the sound of my voice, before you call upon God, he will answer you several times. You will operate under open heavens. In the name of Jesus, more anointed to everyone that is putting the anointing to use. For to him that much is given, for him that much is given, much will be expected. To him that the deep call it unto the deep. The more of the anointing you are using, the more the Lord opens you up to more of his grace made available. More of his grace, the deep call unto the deep. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God opened you up. The glory of God opened you up to another level of glory. Another level of glory. Everyone putting in prayer. Everyone putting in prayer, prayer. Everyone putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. The power of God, the glory of God. Everyone saying amen. Everyone saying I receive. Everyone saying I catalambalo. Everyone say I claim it. The spirit of God make it a reality for you. Everything you're pronouncing, the Lord make a reality. Everything you're pronouncing, the Lord make a reality in Jesus' name. Everything you're trusting God for, everything you're believing God for, the Lord make it a reality. As you're standing in the place of prayer, the Lord empower you. The Lord empower you. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody join me and let us start to pray for healing upon our land. Healing upon our land. Definitely for there to be diseases, untold diseases, something has gone wrong somewhere. Because we saw in, Ex in Exodus 15 verse 26, he says, and he said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his status, I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought upon the Egyptian. For for I am the Lord thy God that he led thee. Oh, let us start to repent. Let us start to repent on behalf of our land and on behalf of our nations, upon nations of the world. Let us start to repent. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let us confess sin of, of the world. Let's confess the sin of our community and nation. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let us start to plead the blood of Jesus Christ so that the Lord will have mercy, so that he will heal the land, so that the Lord will heal the land, so that the Lord will heal the land, so that the Lord will heal the land. In the name of Jesus, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy, oh God, upon our communities and nations. We ask for mercy for nations of the world. Oh Lord, because of the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, have mercy, oh Lord, heal the land. Have mercy, heal the land. Have mercy, let there not be a carryover. Somebody join me and prophesy, let there not be a carryover. Let there not be a carryover. Let every word that you have proposed and you have spoken concerning our life for this year, cut Catch up with us and our household. Catch up with us and our neighbors. Catch up with us and our children and offsprings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it catch up with us. Let it catch up. Mashanda, Kebaro, Dalimo, Sikaba. Let it catch up with us. Let it catch up with our household member. The word that the Lord, the mouth of the Lord have spoken. Let it catch up with us. Catch up with our loved one. Catch up with us. Catch up with our children. Catch up with us. Catch up with our communities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, power, fire. Holy Ghost, fire power. Holy Ghost, take control, take preeminence. Holy Ghost, take preeminence, take control. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. There will not be a carryover. In Jesus' name, there will not be a carryover. There will not be a carryover in Jesus' name. Every word of God will be fulfilled in your life, will be fulfilled in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh anointing upon every man of God, woman of God, fresh anointing. Fresh anointing upon every man of God, woman of God, fresh Fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not let God down. You will not fail God. I will not fail God. Our children will not fail God. Our community will not 
not fail God. Our nation will not fail God. Uh, in Jesus' name, we will not fail God. Oh Lord, come and have your way. Oh Lord, come and do what you look and do. Mothers, you will not fail God. Fathers, you will not fail God. Youths, you will not fail God. Men of God, you will not fail God. Women of God, you will not fail God. If only we will incline our ears unto the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Mandali Ebra Kandali Mosi. If you like to give your life to Jesus Christ, please stretch forth your hand towards me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I come before you. I confess any sin, every sin that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Everyone under the sound of my voice, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, say with me, I confess any sin, every sin. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Wash me clean with the blood. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Please say with me in Jesus' name. Say every covenant that I have entered into consciously and unconsciously. Let every, every covenant be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus. Say, I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me, was buried for my sake, and for my sake was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, and so I find for salvation. Man of God, woman of God, join me. Say, I am born again. Join me. Say, I'm born again. Join me. Say, I'm born again, and it is binding in Jesus' name. If you would like to dedicate your life, say with me, say, I dedicate. Say, I dedicate. Man of God, woman of God, join me. Say, I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end, and it is binding in Jesus' name. Praise God. Okay, let us pray. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end, I want to thank you. Somebody at this point in time, please, if you have a prayer mandate, put in your prayer mandate now. Okay, if you have a prayer mandate right now, put it in. The power of God is here. The glory of God is here. The presence of God is here. If you have a prayer mandate, anything between you and God Almighty, put it in now. Please put it in. And please, as you're putting it in, let your focus be on who? On God, not man. Let your focus be on who? On God, not man. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma shaka bade ketelibo. O zake brandali ebantali mo sikatali. Put in prayer put in prayer prayer focus on god not man and see the marvelous things that god alone can do in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise god ancient of this alpha omega i want to thank you for every prayer every prayer prayer every prayer 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 brought oh god onto this holy mountain jehovah move oh god daddy move and share glory with no man i am asking oh god that the power of fear be destroyed uprooted and completely completely eradicated every every strand of fear every atom of fear let it be destroyed in jesus name daddy i'm asking for the grace the power i'm asking for the power the grace upon your church upon your people that grace oh god that will bring about gladness that will bring about rejoicing in jesus name let that grace be released now let that multiple grace that will bring about rejoicing that will bring about rejoicing that will bring about gladness that will bring about gladness let that multiple let that multiple grace be released now upon your church let it be released upon your people let it be released in the name of jesus Christ, everyone that have approached oh god your throne by faith today oh lord manifest manifest let healing flow enough oh god of the weeping enough of the tears come and wipe away the tears on the faces of your people father as you have instructed i have communicated that every enemy that will walk in line with your will for our life you will bless but every enemy that will not walk in line with your will because you said all things work together for for good to death to them will love you. So if they will not work all together for good, to bring about your purpose, you say you terminate their life. And you giving us example from the scriptures, how you terminated the lives of people who worked against your will in the life of your people, making your people to burst out in joy and rejoicing. Father, do exactly even more in the life of anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice. Bring about, oh God, that turn around that will make people rejoice, that will make people be glad. Now make people know that you are a prayer answering God. Bring about a turnaround. Make a difference between him that serve you and him that serve you not. Terminate, oh God, the life of everyone that will not conform to your will for our life. Terminate their life that they may know that you are Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for every enemy that is cooperating, that he lift them up, bless them so that they may know that this person is truly a lover of yours. We know we have a jealous lover. We know a lo the lover of our soul is jealous over us. Father, is there anyone here that have been giving a name that is not their name any name upon the forehead of anyone on this holy mountain 
that they are bearing for the past how many years. Lord, let the blood of Jesus erase every name that is not meant for your people. And let the true prophecy of their life, the true name that they are meant to carry in life and destiny become their trademark from this minute. By fire, by force, let it become their trademark from this minute. By fire, by force, let it become their trademark from this minute in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakaba Shantalimosikaba. Let it become their trademark right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your people bear their name. Let them bear their name. Let them bear their name and let the prophecies of their life catch up with them and their family and their household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, O Lord, and establish, O Lord, your will. Come and establish your plan and purpose. Come and do what you alone can do, Rock of Ages, and share glory with no man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come and do what you alone can do and share glory with no man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of days, Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. I pray, O oh God, for anyone and everyone that is moving from one degree of fear to another. Today, the power of fear dies a natural death in our life because you have commanded us not to fear. But rather, O oh Lord, we start to prepare to rejoice. We start to prepare to testify. We start to prepare to rejoice. We start to prepare to testify for faithful is he that has called us. Faithful is the God that we serve. Faithful is he that has called us. Faithful is the God that we serve. In the name of Jesus Christ, come, O Lord, Negra la gada la bosi, jaga gadema o talimo si kayaba, rege delike telimo, o rabba baba o sake delima ketelie. I pray for every prayer mandate that has been brought into this house. Every prayer, every prayer, prayer, every prayer, prayer, prayer. I pray, O God, for every prayer mandate. In Jesus' name, O Lord, let every prayer mandate you have intended for your house and for your people catch up oh god with your people catch up with your house right now every prayer mandate in the name of jesus christ receive in the name of jesus receive in the name of jesus christ. everyone under the sound of my voice receive in the name of jesus christ you that you're trusting god for healing receive in the name of jesus christ you that you're trusting god for a job receive in the name of jesus christ your business you want business opportunities receive in the name of jesus Christ. Everyone under the sound of my voice trusting God for that which only God can do. Whether you call any name it might be called. Whatever you're trusting God for that only God can do. Receive the grace in Jesus name. Somebody under the sound of my voice all that you have lost. Receive the grace to receive the grace to receive the grace to recover. Recover everything. Let there I prophesy restoration into the life of somebody. Recover everything. I prophesy restoration restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord grant unto you all that you have lost in one single day. The Lord bring unto you all that you have lost 24 hour miracle. I prophesy into the life of somebody 24 hour miracle. Before the dawn, before the dawn of the next day, may the power of God out, 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 outline all that you have lost, outline all that you have lost and make it your reality and make it your reality. The Lord bring it to you on the platter of gold. The Lord establish it for his name's sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone under the sound of my voice trusting God for their home, their marriage, the power of God step into your marriage, step into your home. Those who are trusting God for a home to be given unto them, the Lord make you find good husband, good wives. The Lord make you conceive good children that you will not use your hand to bury. Children that will serve God and that will worship God in spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord make you to find a job or start a business that you will use to build your family, build your community. You will build, you will build for God in the name of Jesus Christ. Not the kind of job that will terminate your destiny. Not the kind of job that will bring fear, that will bring shame. But that job that will make you rejoice and be glad. That joy, that job that will make you rejoice and be glad that you may know that God is great and that you will see great things being done for you. So shall it be the power of God start to grant you that grace. Everyone that is in need of one document or the other for anything, the Lord approve those documents for you now. The Lord approve those documents for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are in debt and you have been trusting God to pay back. The Lord make a way for you to pay back. Please, 
When the Lord make a way, if you are the one listening to this word of prophecy, when the Lord make a way, go and pay first and you will see God will prosper you afterwards. This prophecy is coming because you are trusting God to pay up that which you are owing. Please, as God starts to open doors to you, please pay first. And as you pay, my God will sustain you. Well, God will sustain you and then he will bring you to your plenty. Remember that the first thing God did was to command Moses to put a tree into the water so that they can drink. It was first to sustain and they drank for that time. But God now brought them to their place of settlement. God brought them to a place where they found 12 well and found 70 palm trees. So when the Lord gives you that money, please pay first. That is just an allowance coming. Pay first and my God will bring you to a place of settlement. You will have more than enough. You will never ever owe anymore. You will never borrow. In Jesus' name. In fact, the bills you're paying now will be the least, you, the least you're going to ever pay few days or few years from now, few months from now, it will be the least because the Lord will have so empowered you and you'll be there to do what he wants you to do for his name's sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Spirit of God, take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy that is coming, oh Lord Jehovah, every enemy coming unto your church, lift up a standard against them. God punish the devil. Every enemy walking your will in the life of your children, daddy, bless them. Bless those enemies. Even though we do not, why not say, oh Lord, bless so so and so person. But Lord, because they are doing your will in the life of the lover of your soul, the lover of your soul under the sound of my voice, then I say that Daddy, bless them. Ancient of this, bless them. Alpha, Omega, bless them. And bring your will to reality in Jesus' name. Who is that person under the sound of my voice? that is celebrating their birthday today. Many more years you celebrate in the land of the living. I soak you with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray for nurses and doctors right now. More grace, more strength. Oh Lord, shield your people. Shield your people. Let your angels, oh God, be, oh God, at their beck and call. Let the angels shield your church. Shield your people. Father, the selfless service that is being offered by these people, Jehovah, let your presence be there for them in the name of Jesus Christ. And everyone that is sick in the hospital, prison home, I command your healing power upon your, your people. You promise, you say you will heal your people. You say you are the God that healeth us, Exodus 15 verse 26. Heal your church in the name of Jesus Christ. And every damaged economy, let there be a restoration. Every damaged economy, let there be a restoration. Only you can do what no man can do. Hear us now and always we give you praise with thanksgiving. Everyone that has made this service a success, whether sharing the broadcast, whether giving to the work of God, whether praying for somebody, whatever your church is doing, you, oh God, who see in the secret, come and openly reward your people. Father, especially those who are doing it only for your name's sake. We, you have given us a commission to win billions and trillions or so, but we know that we start by winning those numbers by just winning one more soul. Everyone that has been part of one more soul, getting more glued to you, getting more committed to you, falling in love with you. Father, bless your people. Bless them outstandingly. Bless your church outstandingly and let hell know that you have favored your church and let the gates of hell not prevail against your church. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise. I honor you. I pray for everyone in the hospital, prison, homes, your mercy and grace upon them. Every father, every mother, rulers of different communities, everyone that you have placed in authority, I pray for more grace and I pray for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for mercy. Upon my household, upon my children, upon every ch children represented on this mountain, upon all the parents on this mountain, I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy. Every business, oh God, in my territory, in my domain, I pray for your mercy and grace. In Jesus' name. Thus said the Lord that I should release the apostle benediction upon the church. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your house, upon whatsoever you am finding to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Omega, beginning and the end, grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace now and forevermore. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Praise
Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy and grace. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, oh Lord, for today. Thank you for every man of God, woman of God. Thank you for making this broadcast a success. Thank you for everyone that will be watching the recorded version. Let your power, oh Lord, still be mighty. Even as they watch the recorded version, make it real to your church. And let your word come with power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all the healing and all the testimonies. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Your church is saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your church is saying hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you. Thank you for bringing rejoicing unto us. Thank you for giving us gladness. Thank you, O Lord, for doing great things. Thank you, O God, of turn around, for turning things around. Thank you, O God, for recovery. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for making us to break limits. Thank you for making us unbounded. We give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate everyone. God bless you. Thank you for coming to pray with the apostle. I love you all. God bless you. God bless you. God honor you. The next broadcast on Facebook for us is tomorrow and we're going to be praying with a bottle of water. You don't want to miss tomorrow's broadcast because it's specially for healing and deliverance. Okay, the Monday and Thursday prayer is specially for healing and deliverance. And God has been faithful how many years we've done it. He has not failed us. And I believe that the topic God is going to grant unto us and the word is going to give to us will be an eye opener. Everyone that have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, we love you. God bless you. Please do so. Just press the red button now. Subscribe now, okay? And if you have not been to our YouTube channel, you want to type Unbounded House, or Unbounded House Life, and that will bring you to the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, you will know whenever we have a new upload and whenever you place a comment or you type a comment, we'll be able to see. Now, if you're watching this broadcast outside the Facebook and you want to locate where we are always having this live broadcast on Facebook, then you want to type at Jumbo Isong, one word, at J-U-M-B-O-I-S-O-N-G, into the search engine of Facebook. Once you do that, it will bring up the name of our of our page, Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP. That is Praise Preaching and Prayer. So you want to like and follow that page. That way you know whenever we are online, God bless you. Okay, I want to thank God for everything God is doing. Please be careful. A lot of people are using the name of men of God wrongly. Okay, so, but we do not power, empower anyone to contact you or to send you any message or call you on behalf of Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP or Whisper Talk Show. Now, we did not empower anyone. If you are being led by God to be part of what God is doing, if God has granted you the grace to bless the work, then you want to use this number to contact us. Plus 447436157604. Four, 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 six, six, plus 447436157604. Four, four, six one five seven six zero four use this number and we'll talk about it pray about it and we'll see how god will lead us from there god bless you okay so please do not miss tomorrow's broadcast tomorrow monday is going to come up the usual evening time and i believe somebody is going to be blessed until then i just want to say my name is apostle jumbo isong god bless you permit me to sign up my usual way god punish the devil Punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. I love you so much. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. A great week is ahead of you. A great week is ahead of you. God is going to do and he will continue to do great things for you and for me in Jesus' name. Remain God's lover and everything will fall into line for you and for, for everyone around you in Jesus' name. Shalom. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Bye-bye.